Hey, hi, welcome. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Okay. You should stay right there. I'll be right back. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Do you guys have any idea what I'm doing? No. <laughs> Do you guys have any idea what I'm doing? <laughs> that, hundreds of years ago in the olden days, was when they wanted to make an announcement. The town crier would go out and ring a bell and get everybody's attention and make an announcement because in that time and place, not everybody could read, not everybody would get the news like we do today, so they would go out and ring a bell and make their announcement. Well, let me try this again, see if you know what I'm going to be doing this time. Extra, extra, read all about it, read all about it, extra, extra, read all about it. <laughs> do you guys know what this is? A newspaper, very good. Those, though, those are still around. This is still how we make announcements. So this is Sunday's paper. So this, and we can see there's an announcement right on the front about a New Year's celebration. So that's also a way we make announcements. Yeah. So, so there's some other ways we make announcements, right? We, maybe we send out postcards. People send out postcards. Maybe they're announcing that they're, that they're going to have a baby or that they're going to get married. This was for our Christmas concert. Maybe they send out a little wedding announcement in a, in a little letter. We do announcements, right, every week here at church. This is our info sheet with announcements, and we've got announcements up on our slides every Sunday. And what's maybe another way people make announcements nowadays that doesn't even involve paper at all? News? The Internet. Yeah, they don't even need paper at all. You can just post it on Facebook or Instagram or one of those other socials. Well... Today, we're going to talk about a very special announcement that God makes about the coming of the baby Jesus. And do you remember the stories about how God announces to Mary and how God announces to Joseph and how God announces to the shepherds that Jesus is coming and that Jesus is born? Who, who makes those announcements? Do you remember? The angels. Yes, very good. God announces the birth of Jesus through the angels. And we're going to hear all about that over the next several weeks during this Advent season and this time of Christmas when we celebrate the birth of Jesus and the way that God announces through the angels that Jesus is going to be born. But you know, God still speaks with us too in other ways. Yeah, sometimes through other people like our friends or our parents or grandparents and family who give us some really good advice. Maybe that still small voice inside that's Holy Spirit telling us what we should do or maybe here in church and certainly through scripture and prayer. There's all kinds of ways that God communicates with us. So we're going to talk about today how God communicated with Mary and Joseph through the angels telling the birth of Jesus. So let's pray. Lord God, thank you so much that you speak to us in so many wonderful ways that you share with us as you shared with Mary and Joseph and the shepherds and all the early disciples and the church throughout time, the good news that Jesus Christ has come, a baby in a manger, the Savior of the world, and is with us now and always. And all this we pray in his name. Amen. <laughs> 